Hey guys, welcome to another Stardew Valley video. In this video, I'm going to give some tips and tricks for the new volcano dungeon in the latest 1.5 update. The volcano has some tough enemies and can prove challenging at first, but I promise you, it's not that bad. Okay, let's get started. To get to the new volcano dungeon, you first need to get to Ginger Island. If you are not sure how to get there, there is a link in the description below to my video on how to get there. Once you have reached Ginger Island, you'll be able to get to the volcano. Just go straight up from Willy's boat and you'll find the entrance to the volcano. In the volcano, you'll see a large lava pool that you cannot cross, or can you? Simply use your watering can and you can make a bridge. Now be smarter than me, I have a level 1 watering can. Upgrading your watering can can be very helpful, especially later in the volcano, trust me. The volcano is a little bit different than the regular mines and the skull cavern. First, it only has 10 levels. There are four regular levels. Then floor five is a safe level. Here you will find a dwarf shop selling some explosives and some nice, nice shoes. If you have five golden walnuts, you can unlock a hole to get back to the entrance as well. This really helped me, but I wouldn't really recommend it. <laughs> it is also important to note that there is no instant way out of the volcano. So if you're on floor 4, you will have to run back through every exit until you get back to the main entrance. Then you will find another 4 regular levels. And then finally on floor 10, you will have completed the volcano and found the forge. Here you can do all kinds of cool things. Subscribe so you don't miss my full forge guide. After reaching floor 10, you can exit this way and unlock the door at the entrance of the volcano. That means you do not have to do all 10 levels every time you want to access the forge in the future. In the volcano, there is a new resource, the cinder shard. You can either find these by killing monsters or from hitting these cinder shard rocks. Try and get as many as you can. You will need them for the forge. In the volcano, you will find some brand new monsters. Probably the first monster you will see is the tiger slime. They're basically like normal slimes. They are just very tanky and really pack a punch. It will be much easier if you have a galaxy sword. These guys don't drop anything special, but they do have a chance to drop a golden walnut. Next, you'll probably see a magma sprite. These guys behave very similar to bats or ghosts, and they aren't that hard to kill. They do have decent health and can quickly overwhelm you if there is more than one. So just be alert and you'll be fine. These guys are good to farm for cinder shards as they often drop them. Now you'll find the magma sprite's older brother, the magma sparker. These guys are basically a bat with a charged attack. They're very annoying to deal with and can do some real damage. It can be difficult to time your attacks, just make sure to not lose vision of these guys. Now this guy gave me a surprise when I first saw him, the lava lurk. This guy hides in the lava and comes up to shoot you with fireballs. You can kill them if they are two tiles away from you and they are not under lava. And for the Dwarvish Sentry, you will mostly find these guys after hitting these chest-like things. They are not really a problem. Very low damage and health. They usually drop pretty nice stuff like gems and even prismatic shards. The last enemy worth noting is the Hothead. These guys aren't really hard to kill. Just remember that once they die or they're low health, they will explode. So keep your distance. You need to get to floor 10 in a single day to unlock the forge. This is a little challenging because you don't save any progress in the volcano. If you do not make it to floor 10, you will have to start back from floor 1 on the next day. So the easiest way to get to floor 10 is to speedrun it. I would suggest eating food that would give you some movement speed. I use spicy eel, but coffee is just as good. Just run past all the enemies, only kill who is needed. Sometimes a door will require you to solve a simple puzzle by pressing some pressure plates before a door is unlocked. The enemies in here can do a lot of damage and there are plenty of them so please remember to bring enough food. I recommend cheese for health and coffee for speed. 
keep an eye out for chests in the volcano. They have a chance to drop some very, very rare things such as a new sword that rivals even the galaxy sword and an ostrich egg. Thanks for watching this video. If this was helpful, please subscribe and check out my other Stardew Valley videos. I still have some golden walnuts to unlock, so for now, until next time.